So the last bond I'm going to talk about is called the hydrogen bond. What they are are these bonds that are actually really weak. They're one of the weaker ones that we're going to talk about. And it's basically these intramolecular forces between two different types of um, molecules. So hydrogen bonds occur between a couple of different molecules. It can happen between hydrogen and um, another molecule, usually either nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, um, of another molecule. So it's oxygen attached to one of these guys and they're sort of bonding to another one. But it's easier to think about water since we've already talked about it. And these are quick transient reactions. And transient means really quick and fast reactions. <clears throat> What's happening here is we have water. And if you remember, um, these are covalent bonds where hydrogen has given its electron away to oxygen. So that makes these guys slightly positive and this guy's slightly negative. So because of that, when you get a whole bunch of water put together, they make these little interactions. And these interactions are where oxygen, which is negative, and hydrogen, which is positive, sort of come together and make this real quick bond, and then eventually it gets broken again and broken again and broken again. Um, they do make these sort of weak interactions, these weak bonds. This is another way of representing these bonds where red represents the oxygen and the white represents the hydrogen. And these little dots represents these weak bonds that are sort of happening and then they get broken and then it happens with another one and they get broken and they sort of keep happening really quickly. So we've gone over a couple of these bonds and I know I haven't gone over oxygen uh, or um, hydrogen bonds much but hydrogen bonds are actually one of the more important ones that we're going to talk about in this class because um, it deals with how water works which we're going to talk about in a minute and um, it deals with how DNA opens and closes so I think for us it's one of the most important bonds that we'll talk about in this class but if we were to put these bonds in the sequence of strength to weakness um, covalent bond would be the strongest Remember, they're the ones that share the electrons. They could do it polarly or non-polarly. Ionic bonds would be next, where one will take the electron and the other one will give it away. One will become positive and one will become negative through that charge. Hydrogen bond would be the next one. This is definitely a weak bond, um, but they play crucial roles when it comes to DNA and things like that, which we'll talk about later. Um, they do basically these poles where one end is slightly positive, one is negative, and they make these interactions. And this one we haven't talked about, but I put it on the list because if you've taken chemistry, you know about them. If you haven't taken chemistry, they're going to talk about this last one called the van der Waals forces. And these are the weakest bonds. They're nonpolar. They're going to talk about them, but we're not really going to talk about them um, at all in biology. The three that you'll be responsible for is going to be covalent, ionic and hydrogen and then I'm going to talk about water next